Yo, what's up guys? Um, today I'm going to be doing a uh, real quick tutorial on screen mar markers, which are these little things right here. They basically tell you where you need to put your mouse next um, without actually having to uh, kind of guess where you need to put it. It actually tells you within a certain per perimeter where you need to put it. And um, basically I'm just going to do a real quick run through of what how I have my uh, screen marker set up for when I do construction. So I have the blue one up here that set tells me where the oak larder is going to be and then the yes to remove and then I just continue to do that. And then I also have a red one right here um, which basically I use to fetch so that I can just know exactly where to go. So um, I want to pause the vid and basically just show you guys how to set it up. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to screenmarker.com and basically I'm going to... I'll leave it in the description, the link. Um, basically, you just go there, download the program. It's free. Um, it works for Windows 7. I'm not sure if it works for Macs or not. Um, I don't have a Mac, so I wouldn't really know. So you guys can um, leave a comment if it does or does not. Um, but basically, you just download the program, and uh, after that, you just open it. So once you open it, um, basically, basically, you'll get like this uh, little interface type thing right here. And this is how you will set up your... Um, uh, screen markers. So this is your um, right click which is basically your mouse and everything so you can like run around and walk around basically like nothing's happening. Um, this right here is basically just like a highlighter um, basically just like a brush. Um, this right here is the eraser you can adjust the size of the um, brushes and the erasers and all that good junks. Um, but the thing that you're going to be using the most is this little tool right here, rectangle. Not the one beside it where it says full rectangle, it's just rectangle. It has um, just the rectangular uh, perimeters. And what you want to do is you want to use that setting along with the smallest, the smallest setting right here. So you want to use the smallest setting right here along with the rectangular um, perimeter looking thing right here. Um, this is what you're going to be using to make the actual boxes around the selected items that you want to select. So you're going to start out by getting to the point to where you want to make your um, screen markers. So in construction, this is how I do it. Basically what I do is uh, when I'm first setting them up, I go right here and I hit build. Now the first screen, the first marker that I make is um, right here, the oak larder. So I like to use blue. I don't know, maybe it's just because I can see it. But the first thing you're going to do is select your rectangular perimeter looking thing right here. Select the color that you want and make sure you're on the smallest um, like font type right here. And you basically just make a rectangle around the selected item. Make it as close to it as you can, but don't make it so close to where you accidentally click on the actual rectangle because it'll like mess up and it'll take you to the screen marker setup right here instead of actually letting you select the RuneScape um, client. So once you have your first thing set up, you want to hit um, your right click right here. And uh, so you have your first thing right here set up. Um, the next thing you want to do is fetch. At least this is what I do. Um, I have to pay this dude real quick. Oh my gosh, that always happens. So you want to do fetch. I always use red. Um, you can use whatever color you want. Just make sure that you have rectangle right here and you have the smallest setting. And you want to put it about right, about right here. And I'll make it about that big. Just because you can like select it inside that window. Okay, so now you want to go to your mouse tool right here and actually select, uh, fetch the planks. Now when he gets back, um, we will, I'll show you how to set up the remove. The, basically what you do is you set up a box around the yes down here in the chat window. So you build your larder, you click oak larder. Okay, so now you gotta go to remove. Now if you didn't have it, you would have to like go down here and try to find it and guess where it is. But we're not gonna do that. We won't have to guess. We'll set up a screen marker. I usually use green or blue. Um, right now I'm just gonna use green. And um, the rectangular tool again, and the smallest uh, possible setting right here. You want to make it just around the yes to where it's selectable, um, basically where the boundaries are selectable. And um, so I'll show you right here. You got to select your, um, basically your mouse, your mouse selection right here. And you want to see how far you can go before it 
quits hitting yes. So you want to put it around that area. And um, so you just click yes. Okay, so that's how you set up your um, screen markers. You can minimize this. And as long as you don't click the actual thing, you'll be fine. Because did you hear the ding? You guys probably couldn't. But basically, it just opens up your um, screen markers again. And you'll have to like click back into RuneScape and all that. It's just easier if you just... That's why you make it a little bit wider than the actual selection size or a little bit wider than you actually need. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a real quick um, thing that I do. Oak larder, fetch, remove, yes. Build, oak larder. Oh, well, I would use oak larder, but you guys get the idea. And you can use this um, with herb lore. Um, you can use it with... Uh, uh, crafting, you can use it with, uh, what else could you use it for? Fishing, if you wanted to, uh, smithing, I mean, you could use it for any skill, basically. Agility, um, anything. Fletching, I, I'm sure you could use it for. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, I hope this tutorial little thing helped you. Um, it will help you get, like, a lot more XP, and it'll make it a lot easier to, uh, not have to guess where your mouse has to go next. Um, that was the biggest problem I had was actually selecting where the mouse is actually going to have to go. So if this tutorial helped you out at all, leave a comment in the comment box below. Um, subscribe uh, if you haven't already subscribed. Like if you really like this video. Favorite if you really, really, really like this video. And um, yeah, guys, peace.